uh, welcome friends so today in this session we will see some uh, reasoning question based on the biomolecules so under this chapter let us see some of the important questions which are usually uh, coming in our entrance examinations fructose contains a keto group but still it reduces tolerance reagent so what is the answer so answer is Actually, under the basic conditions of uh, tolerance reagent, the fructose, so this fructose, which have a ketone group, so it undergoes uh, low bright D uh, brine one extinct rearrangement. So this is one big reaction. So under this reaction, what happens? Uh, this fructose gives an equilibrium mixture of fructose, uh, glucose, and mannose. So there are three type of product is uh, produced by this one fructose. So even there are some of the fructose is left behind. And glucose and mannose are the additional product is there, and since both glucose and mannose, this uh, two uh, product, they contain the aldehyde groups, and these aldehyde groups which is reduced by the tolerance region. That's why fructose contains a keto group but it still reduces the tolerance region due to this uh, basic reactions. That is the uh, low bright D bromine one extinct reagent reaction. So they are producing these two compound glucose and mannose, and these are reduced by the tolerance. Reagent. Glycine exists as a jitter ion, but ortho and para amino benzene acids do not. So this is giving a jitter ion, but this uh, amino benzene acid they do not give jitter ion. Why? Actually, in ortho and para amino benzene as a benzoic acid, the lone pair of electrons on the amino group is. So this is donating the electron to the benzene ring. So what happens as a result? SD character of the carboxylic group group. group and basic character of the amino groups both is decreasing even carboxylic group is also decreasing and amino amino group is also decreasing because lone pair is donated to the ring therefore the weakly acidic that is the carboxylic groups cannot transfer a h plus ion to the weakly basic amino group so uh, ortho and para amino benzoic acid do not exist as a jitter ion so we can you can see this reaction it is uh, not uh, uh, as the jitter ion you can see very clearly so this is your uh, amino ortho uh, benzoic acid and this is the para amino benzoic acid we can say ortho para amino so this is not uh, giving reaction like this one this is your you can see uh, this is the coo minus is missing over here and these two jitter ion is not possible by from this reactions but if you see this uh, glycine it is undergoing jitter ion so because electron withdrawing benzene ring is absent in this electron withdrawing benzene absent so this can hydrogen can easily transfer to the uh, this amino groups and they can form this acidic so uh, this uh, nh2 group is sufficiently basic and accepts protons from the carboxylic group to form the jitter ion so in this case jitter ion is possible but in this ortho and para amino benzoic acids jitter ion is not possible uh, is a diet consisting mainly of rice and adequate diet why or why not so question is clear uh, let us see the proper answer the rice is a deficient actually what happens rice has a deficient of these two amino acids that is the lysine and threonine and which are the essential amino acids and these two amino acids are required for the growth and maintenance of the health hence their deficiency has to be supplemented by the other protein rich diet that is the pulses etc that's why this uh, uh, diet consisting mainly of the rice is not an adequate diet we have to take additionally pulse also glucose or sucrose so these are uh, soluble in water but uh, if you take a cyclohexane cc s12 or uh, benzene both are insoluble in water why so let us see the proper answer uh, we know this uh, concept like dissolves likes means benzene and cyclohexane these are the non polar molecules so they are not dissolved in the water because water is the polar molecules while glucose and sucrose they both contains the uh, glucose contains the five hydroxyl group and the sucrose contain, contains the eight hydroxyl group and these are the polar molecules that's why they form the extensive intermolecular hydrogen bonding with water that's why they dissolve in water and these uh, benzene and cyclohexane they do not dissolve in water the melting point and solubility in water uh, of uh, and amino acids are higher water of amino solubility in water of amino acids are higher than those of the corresponding halo acids why it is possible let us see 
Amino acid is uh, uh, it exists as a jute ion, which we can see uh, plus or minus this is a dipolar ion. And due to this uh, dipolar salt like characters, they have the strong dipole dipole attraction, or you can say they have electrostatic attractions. They have dipole dipole attraction and electrostatic due to these two positive negative dipolar ions. And therefore, their melting points is higher than the halo acids because these halo acids they do not have the salt like characters. And further, due to the salt like characters, they interact strongly with the water. Why? Because these uh, amino acids are highly interacting with the water, they are also soluble in the water. As a result, uh, solubility in water of amino acids is higher than that of the corresponding halo acids, which do not have the salt like character. Where does the water present in the egg go after boiling the eggs? When you boil the egg, so where the water is lost actually uh, when the egg is boiled the protein first undergo denaturation means the structural protein is uh, break down and, the co and then it uh, coagulation occurs so the water present in the eggs get absorbed or adsorbed in the coagulated protein so in the coagulated protein it is absorbed or adsorbed how probably through hydrogen bonding is still uh, not confirmed but uh, it may possible this hydrogen water is absorbed in the uh, coagulations by hydrogen bonding. So this water is lost over there. Why cannot vitamin C is stored in our body? So in this case vitamin C is soluble in water. So vitamin C is water soluble. So it is readily excreted in urine. Fresh tomatoes are a better source of vitamin C than those of which have been stored for some time. Explain because on prolonged exposure to air, vitamin C present in tomato is destroyed due to the aerial oxidation. That's why uh, fresh tomatoes are a better source of the vitamin C than those which have been stored for a some time. Why are carbohydrates generally optically active? So why these carbohydrates are generally optically active? Because their molecules are chiral. Their molecules are chiral. And because of the presence of the one or more uh, chiral or asymmetric carbon atoms, they are generally optically active compounds. Ex uh, except for vitamin uh, vitamin B12, all other vitamins of the group B uh, should be supplied regularly in diet. Why? So we can see uh, that is the uh, vitamin B12 does not occur in plant. Uh, but it's uh, exclusively synthesized by the microorganism present in our body. That's why it may not be supplied regularly in diet, while all other vitamins of group B uh, should be supplied regularly in the diet. Glucose forms an oxyme, but glucose penta acetate does not. So this is not uh, forming an oxyme. Why? Because glucose uh, reacts with the hydroxylamine via open chain form which are free aldehyde group and therefore so they form the glucose oxime while glucose penta state cannot be converted into the open chain form why because its anomalic hydroxyl group is acetylated that is C1OH which is acetylated and it does not form the oxime you can see from this uh, reaction uh, so this reaction is there in which it is uh, clearly shown that you can see so this is your uh, uh, cyclic chains so this is the alpha glucose or beta glucose so under acetylation you can see all OH is replaced by the uh, CS3 CO group so you can see so this becomes your alpha glucose pentastate beta glucose pentastate so this cannot go hydroxy hydroxy uh, hydroxyla mean reaction because this does not have any free aldehyde group for forming oxygen while the glucose which is open chain structure they have the free chain so they can form oxygen while the glucose penta acetate you can see one two three four five the penta acetate it does not form uh, uh, this one um, uh, uh, glucose oxygen because that is a closed chain and every OH molecule is acid dilated glucose and fructose uh, gives the same osa zone uh, explain why it is giving same osa zone because during the osagen formation, the reaction occurs at C1, C2 carbon. So at these two carbon osagen occurs, while the rest of the molecules remain intact. 
and uh, since the glucose and fructose differ from each other only in the arrangement of the carbon set C1 and C2 let us see this reaction that's why they give the same oxygen reaction you can see this is the glucose structure and this is fructose structure this is the ketonic group this is the aldehyde group so it will react with the, this uh, CC, H5, NH, NH2 so this will um, form oxygen with this one and this one you can see and this will become your glucose ajone. in this case this will uh, react with the ketonic group also and followed by this will react with the, this one uh, CH2OH and they will form again this group uh, by releasing uh, aniline, ammonia and water so both uh, glucose and fructose will give you osajone and fructosa -jone. On electrolysis in acidic medium, amino acids migrate towards the cathode. Amino acids it migrates towards the cathode in acidic medium, while in alkaline medium these migrate towards the anode. Why? Because amino acids they have a deuteronic structure. They have a deuteronic structure means they have a di di uh, dipolar structure, which consists of cationic as well as anionic. So high in, in presence of uh, strong acids. Uh, they exist as a cations and this uh, electrolysis they migrate towards the during electrolysis and uh, this migrates towards the uh, cathode so when the solution is acidic so deuteron ions migrates is existing as a cation and it will migrate towards the cathode so we can remember cc cc means cyprocation to cathode so you can see this is your uh, deuteron ions so uh, uh, this is the positive charge oh and co so when the medium is acidic a strong acid so this a strong acid will take, uh, it will uh, react by the base so it becomes a cation this will migrate towards the cathode and when same is taken presence of alkali so alkali will take hydrogen from this one so okay, it will form a water so it becomes your anion and this anion will migrate towards the cathode so anion will migrate towards the cathode cation will migrate towards the cathode so anion will migrate towards the anode and cation will migrate towards the cathode the monoamino monocarboxylic acids have two pk value so definitely this is a dipolar ion so it must have two pk value so let's take example of glycine so glycine in aqueous solution will exist as a dipolar ion so this ns3 plus is acting as acid and this co minus acting as a base so that's that's why it's a, a dipolar and have a two pk values What forces are responsible for the stability of alpha helix and why is it named as 3.6 13 helix? We can see this is a subscript 3.6 and it is written as 3.6 13 helix. The stability of the alpha helix structure is due to the intramolecular hydrogen bonding between the NH and CO group of the same polypeptide chain. And the alpha helix is termed as the 3.6 13 helix. So this alpha helix is termed as the 3.6 30 helix and since each turn of the helix has approximately 3.6 amino acids so each helix has a 3.6 amino acids and the hydrogen bonding leads to the formation of 13 member ring so due to hydrogen bonding so there is a 13 member ring so this 13 member ring and they have 3.6 amino acids for each turn so a one turn has this much acids and uh, it uh, by hydrogen bonding so this becomes a 13 member ring so its name as the 3.6 13 helix why amino acids are amphotric in nature amphotric or you can say ampholytes amino acids have both acidic that is the NH3 plus as well as uh, minus CO basic groups are present it has both ST group plus as well as basic group presence hence they can react with the acid base respectively you can see this is your uh, Jupiter and aqueous medium so if they are reacting with the ST medium so they will become so cationic form and if they are reacting with the alkalis this uh, Jupiter ion so they become so anionic and this will migrate towards the anode and this will migrate towards the cathode respectively that's why Jupiter ion this amino acid is uh, called as the amphotric in nature or you can say they are the ampholytes the K and KV value of the alpha amino acids are very very low. Why? Because uh, the um, alpha amino acids consist of uh, ST groups and basic groups. So ST groups uh, instead of COH in carboxylic acid and uh, this is a basic group instead of amino and this is aliphatic in amines. So I mean this is aliphatic amines so they consist of basic group this one and they consist of ST group this one. That's why the K and KB of the glycines are this and this respectively. 
that's why and this is very very low that's why k and k value uh, k and k b uh, values of the alpha amino acids are very low due to this